I will always remember that day I went to my family doctor to get the results. Uh, she's usually really cheery and, and, and you know, very laid back. But that day she looked at me very seriously and said, Hey Anthony, I got some bad news for you. There is a, you know, we found a, a huge tumor in your liver. Chronic hepatitis B is a very common liver disease. Uh, caused by the hepatitis B virus. Worldwide, we have about 240 million people living with chronic hepatitis B, and every year about 700,000 die from complications associated with uh, chronic hepatitis B, uh, such as liver cancer. About one in 10 Asians have chronic hepatitis B, and the alarming thing is two thirds were not even aware they had the disease. People don't really understand the nature of the, the disease. Um, they tend to be either you know, be afraid, of, afraid of it or um, they um, you know, maybe choose not to interact with people you know, with hepatitis B. Hepatitis B is not transmitted through casual interaction. It's transmitted largely in three ways, from the mother to child at birth. If the newborn did not get vaccinated through unsafe injections. Also, it could be transmitted through unprotected sex. Here is a disease, we have all the solutions. We have a vaccine, we have drugs to treat the disease so people don't die of complications. We can actually screen those who are infected uh, regularly for liver cancer for early detection mm -hmm. so they can, you know, have a good chance of surviving the cancer. But because there is not the advocacy, political will, very few people hear about this problem. The World Health Organization actually uh, identify uh, hepatitis B is, as an infection we can wipe out from the face of the earth. The message is if you are screened and found to have chronic hepatitis B, it's very simple. You, just, you don't need to see your doctor all the time. Mm -hmm. You do twice a year blood tests to monitor for any flare up of your hepatitis monitor for liver cancer. And once you hit a certain age, you start once a year ultrasound. There are a lot of women from Asia who, who have these misconceptions. They've been told by their parents, oh, if you have chronic hep B, you cannot be pregnant. It'll be too bad for your liver and you can pass it to your baby. But actually, all that is not true. Having hepatitis B does not mean that you cannot be pregnant or can't have children. I hold myself as the best example of that. Like I said, two beautiful pregnancies, two beautiful children. Both of my children received uh, vaccines right after delivery, and both of them are hepatitis B free. I have lived a most wonderful life being hepatitis B positive. I don't see myself as a hepatitis B patient. I just think of myself like any other person. Chronic hepatitis B is a preventable and treatable disease. To confidentially assess your risk and learn more about hepatitis B and liver cancer, please visit liver.stanford.edu.